This isn't up to the standard that I normally strive for on this channel. However, this I found really interesting, so I wanted to get it up quite quickly while I was excited about it. So this morning Veritasium put up a really interesting video um, about a problem. Uh, I'm not going to re-explain that, it's probably better just to go and watch the uh, original video. Um, however, I was left with a question in it, because the explanation for why every number ends up in a circle um, didn't uh, quite resonate with me. And I ended up thinking it through, and I came up with another explanation which um, is much more intuitive for me. Um, I'll leave that in the description so you can look through that properly. Uh, but I wanted to prove that it actually works. So, uh, this is the video that uh, Veritasium has got here. Um, let's go and have a look at the, uh, the demo in progress. So, if we go and run this one here, we want to go to the, do the circular demo, and we're going to do 100, uh, 100 boxes. And there's a few th things that you can see here. The minimum loop size is 3, so there are no items that are not in the loop. Um, the maximum loop size is 92. If there are more than 50 boxes in a loop, then the item fails. And we can see here that this one failed. So let's go and run the test again. And this one passed because you can see here that the maximum number is 42. So uh, let's now just run a few more of them and we can see some passes and fails. Now, what was really interesting is, well, hey, I've come this far. Why don't I just go the next step and automate running a whole heap of these, and then we can see, well, what percentage pass and fails, and we can see if that's the result we get is anything close to what we're seeing in the Veritasium video. So let's go and run that, and we want to go, whoops, a daisy. We want to go repeat, and we want, once again, we're gonna do 100, uh, a pool of 100, and we're gonna run a 1,000 of them. Okay, so we got 30% there. So that's pretty good. That's um, pretty close to the 31 point something that was in the Veritasium video. Let's run it again. 29.6, not quite as good, but not too bad. 30.6, 33, and you can see here that if we keep running this, we do end up being averaging around about the 31. That's cool. Let's go and do a longer test. So we're now going to do 10,000. Notice there, we're starting to sit very close to that 31% now. So with a larger sample size, it uh, gets very close to 31 every time. I haven't updated the uh, memory allocation for this, um, I'm not going to bother with it, but um, uh, if I could, I could do much larger tests. I'm going to add one more zero to this and see if that works. Yes, I think it will for this because this is not a memory intensive one. And you just see there that um, we are really biting into that 31 point something percent now. So anyway, um, that's all there is to it. It was just a really quick, short, uh, short project. I just really wanted to share that with you. So hope you enjoy it.